Christmas is coming. It is. Less than a month ago. Where are we? Yeah, less than yeah. a month yeah. ago. Um, let's talk a little bit about the kind of build up to Christmas. You are a guy who has a reputation for being able to sort of little, pick little items from around the world. But if I didn't want to go around the world, mm. where would I go? If you want to go around the world, if you want to just go for a short haul flight, um, I, would, I would go to, I'd pick, I'd pick either Lisbon. Uh, Depends what you want to buy, but I think you know, everyone is looking for unique items in the magazine. We're always trying to support small to medium-sized businesses. We want to support startups. So um, we had an editorial meeting. We said, you know, where, where would we send our readers? If you could choose one flight, even if you were going to jump on a plane from, from Boston to New York, where would you go in the world? Spend a weekend in Lisbon. Um, for shopping. It is great. For shopping. It is a fantastic city. And it's great because you can just, you can, you know, this is a country which still makes things, whether you want, you know, wonderful wood items, whether you're looking for fashion. Um, and, and there is a really strong, interesting startup culture, as much as just amazing traditional stores that have been there for three centuries. So um, I would, uh, yeah, for Europe, I would say that. Um, in the Americas, if anyone's up early enough and listening I, and watching, I would, uh, I'd say Montreal, I think, is, is interesting. Uh, not just because, of course, it has the, the, the French influence, but I, th I think there as well. Rents are a little bit cheaper, um, so even if you come from elsewhere in, in Canada, uh, you, you see a lot of people. Uh, there's, there's still a textile industry, so people can still make clothes in that market as well, uh, and also run a shop front uh, at, at a decent price. And you still find, Tyler, I haven't been to Montreal mm. in a very long time, you still find s small, nice things to buy? Absolutely. In, in like small shops? Small shops where you actually have, you know, you really have owner operators who are maybe, you know, working, you know, with a factory on the other side of the city, you know, making their own products in Montreal, and then you know, they're able to have their, their own shingle at front as, as well. It's, it's, it's quite remarkable. I mean, it, it does remind you where, you know, New York probably was, you know, 40 or 40 or 50 years ago. Mm. And in Asia? I'd go to Fukuoka. I'd go to Fukuoka in southern Japan. Weather's still nice. Uh, it's still autumn there, which is good. Uh, and again, in, in Fukuoka, you know, a city which is very well connected. If you want to jump over from Seoul, if you want to jump over from Hong Kong, and just a real strong sense of just you know great designers. And, and, and oftentimes, when you speak to even to international buyers, you speak to uh, the major brands out of Tokyo, the select shops, the department stores. You say, you know, where are the coolest people in Japan? You know, who really gets it? And, and often people say, it's people in Fukuoka. Best personal style, uh, best residences. So the Italians of, of. Yeah, I mean, well, also in southern, in you know, the southern part of Kyushu, maybe uh, you know, the people of Kagoshima would would, would debate that because they like to think their city looks like Naples. There you go. <laughs> but is the pizza as good? <laughs> well, uh, haven't the Japanese sort of you know, won for best pizza? I know, I don't want to. You, I, well, you, you can have a hot chocolate if you want to. Um, but I, I, I think the, the Japanese currently hold that prize, which, which is why they're number, number, not solely why they're number five uh, in our, our soft power ranking. Um, what am I getting, guy, for Christmas with with the spending? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you going to get? Uh, I, well, I, I'm not sure about your, your, your media taste, guy, but I saw something. It was in Tokyo at the weekend. Yamaha have have done, and they seem to be making a bit of a bounce back. They've they must have someone new on the industrial design side, but fantastic looking uh, products for the home. And if you still have a collection of CDs, and if you're lazy and you haven't downloaded them all, they make a really great. Um, quite compact stereo unit, which is you know wired and does all the things that everyone else's thing does, but it, it, you're still able to put CDs into it um, as well for those evening cocktail parties that you'll have. I, I'm sure I'm looking forward <laughs> to them already. Yeah, I'll just Done. bring you along to bring the cocktails. <laughs> there you what were we talking about yesterday? We were talking about Christmas presents. Remy, no, the Remy, oh, Remy the Quantra, sidecar, yeah. the sidecar. That was his. That was his cocktail of choice. Yeah, the Sounded chief executive. Positively lethal. No, all I, all I want for Christmas is. Uh, Rest. No, I want, I want our, our, our mayor in Toronto, Rob Ford, to, to go. It would be great to <laughs> if he got bundled up in a big Santa sack and was sent somewhere. Talking of Christmas, I'm sure you're going off somewhere, Glamorous Samaritz or wherever else it is. Yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> tuned in. Next year, places to visit. Mm. What should I put on my list? What should you put on your list? Um, I think... Uh, be interesting to, to sort of look and see what happens with uh, with Thailand, but we you know we like we like Chiang Mai, but hopefully things uh, calm down there uh, a little bit. Um, I would uh, I would also look at Niseko for skiing. I mean it's interesting to see how that is coming up. Certainly a lot of uh, so viewers who are, who are certainly watching in, in Hong Kong will know that as, as an incredible place to ski and how that's coming up. Certainly as a luxury market as well. And, and just finally for 2014, what's the biggest trend, Tyler, that you're seeing? I mean you, you're you're dedicated to paper. You like beautiful things. You're yeah. This very is this is, this is a small, hefty piece of. 
What's 2014 going to bring? I think it's going to be, I mean, if we're talking about media, there's going to be, I think, a great correction. I think a lot of people are realizing they probably put a lot to maybe too much into digital. So I'm not just saying it's going to paper. Uh, we met with one of those very big Korean companies recently. You know, they're trying to, you know, to go to, you know, you'd, you'd be very nice if you have a great expanse of wall, if you have a small house on any major thoroughfare, uh, and, uh, and this particular Korean electronics company sort of drove by and said, we would like to, to buy your wall because we'd like to do more outdoor. So I think you're going to see a big correction in, in 2014. A lot of media companies saying, we're actually going to spread our, our risk a little bit more. So whether that is you know, maybe even putting more into retail, saying we need to be front and center with, with our stores again, we need to be on the right streets, uh, maybe, and, and of course recognizing that e-commerce is important, but um, I think a little bit more of a, of a, of a more even spread, I think.